Alright everybody, Nancy has arrived at the house of Derek Wolf. Yes, and Derek Wolf, well, Derek Wolf keeps wolves in his backyard, which makes breaking into his house a really, really bad idea. So I guess Ned is basically Nancy's chauffeur in this game. He's not really doing much of anything besides taking her various places. And what's this? Oh no! Somebody else has already broken into the house. Well that's unfortunate. And, uh, whoever the, uh, thief is, the thief was wearing distinctive boots. Yeah, star-shaped boots. Okay. And what is this? The window? Is this the door? A way around back. Really, Nancy? Because out back is where the wolves are. Okay, let's check our, uh, whatever you call it, the journal. See, here in the bottom we have the, uh, inventory, and on the top we have the journal. Okay, so we're gonna break into the house and find a voice recorder. So yeah, that's why we're here. Um, there's some sort of voice recorder. Oh, I remember this. This is this is the uh, the key game. So basically, you just want to tap when the colors match. Okay, I just need this final red. Well done! Alright, way to go, Nancy. Okay, so here we are in the, uh, backyard with the wolf kennels. I don't know, this, this still just has bad idea written all over it. I can't help but think that the wolves are going to escape at one point in time. Oh wow, we have to pick another lock? Already? We just did this challenge! Uh oh, missed that red one. Okay, lots of green ones, which is good. I need more green ones. Okay, come on, I need another red. I'm missing the red. Here we go. Well done! And Nancy gives us a thumbs up. Okay, so here we are. Um, I think we were successful. We broke into the house. And it looks like we have a bunch of things we can look at. A fax machine with two faxes. Okay, so let's print the faxes. Okay, number one, from the insurance company. Oh no! His car is no longer insured? I have no idea what this receipt is. What package? 
Who's Will Berger? What is going on here? I'm so confused by this clue. Okay, well, I did check the fax machine, right? Okay, I, I don't need to check the faxes again. Let's check his computer. Okay, who's on speed dial? Oh, okay, I have four people. Okay, that's his daughter. Okay. Okay, number two. A private line. Carson Drew? Whoa, 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 what? This guy has Nancy's father on speed dial? Interesting, interesting. So, uh, Nancy maybe will call her father and get more information. Oh, and he has his publisher on the line. No, Mr. Cujo, this is Nancy Drew. I just sort of broke into Mr. Wolf's house and was trying to see who he has on speed dial. I'm trying to run a business here. Oh, oh, is this the package that was sent that we had a fax about? Okay, let's learn more about this package. Yeah, we have the receipt. And uh, apparently the publisher does not know Mr. Wolf is currently in jail. Alrighty, so the lamp... It's not a lamp, it's an answering machine. Yeah, that doesn't sound friendly at all. Oh yeah, I remember Peter. He's the guy we were just talking to. Okay, so maybe a mysterious villain has stolen the manuscript. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, um, I was confused for a second there, but it looks like Nancy has magically gotten a phone call from her father, who is looking kind of, well, nerdy. Uh, the novel writer, right? Some kind of eccentric... And I don't know what that black box is. That's him. Sure, used to be a client of mine. The theme park tycoon, Thaddeus Belmont, tried to sue him. Nothing came of it, though. That was right around the time Belmont disappeared. Wait, so he tried to sue somebody and then he magically disappeared? Am I the only person who thinks this is not a coincidence? Especially because, you know, Wolf was arrested at Belmont's theme park, and now he's in jail there. Since when do theme parks have their own jails, anyway? Nancy, I don't want you mixed up in all this. If you know anything, go to the police, okay? Ask for Sergeant Kim. 
Not a bad idea. Okay, so I guess that phone call just automatically happens once you examine all three things. And we're finished here. We're finished with our breaking and entering escapade. Usually Nancy is a more law-abiding citizen, but um, not today. Hey, wait a minute. Something has changed? Oh, more footprints. This is the wolf attack, isn't it? It's the wolf attack. I knew the instant I heard about these wolves that they would attack Nancy at one point. So what am I doing here? I'm so lost right now. Oh, it's the escape game! Okay, so I'm confused. They broke the lock to the house. Didn't Nancy just use the door to go outside? I mean, did the person, like, break the lock behind her? Or something? In any case, I am totally escaping the wolf. Yeah, I thought there were wolves, as in plural, not just one wolf who just happens to be walking around and taking a stroll through the park. Okay. You know, that escape was not nearly as death-defying as I thought it would be. I thought it would be a dramatic escape from the wolves. Instead, it was more like Nancy casually strolling out of the yard while the wolf just walked around. And yes, it is very sweet of Ned because he was worried about Nancy getting mauled by wild animals. Boy, Ned is surely a sweetheart. That's a good quality in a boyfriend. Your boyfriend doesn't want to see you get mauled by wild animals. That's on the list of good qualities that Nancy looks for in a boyfriend. <laughs> and of course, Nancy is not about to call it quits, Ned. Yes, we are not calling it a day, so Ned, just go back to being our chauffeur and take us to the police station.